Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to present some simple uh, solution to problem of limited internet access. Here I have internet that uh, is on access point, some access point. Now we buy PC one that has wireless uh, card that connects to internet. Now the PC has also Ethernet card that is connected to this switch. And uh, through this switch, actually, the internet can be distributed to every PC on the switch as long as the subnet, like you can see, is the same on every PC. Plus, every PC has to have a, a added gateway and DNS server, except this one, because this one uh, gets uh, shared, uh, shared uh, internet from a wireless access point so basically speaking if we didn't have that switch and we used router and we connected the one pc one that uh, have a wireless card a shared internet with an ethernet card and the ethernet card we would connect to wide area network of a router every of this pc would not have to be set up with extra configuration to get the internet as long as the router would have dhcp but we don't have a router have only switch so i show how to get internet on every of these pcs and as a model i use a pc4 with static ip55 static ip is a setup like i said because it switch does not have dhcp server okay let's go let's minimize this thing or maybe for now let's our internet uh, provider in this scenario for the subnet will be this pc1 with uh, ip address 192.168.5.4 that will get the internet from wireless card shared with the ethernet card and the wireless card will connect to access point some delivering internet uh, so I minimized that we are in PC now we go to our network now we go to the first PC this is the PC that will actually uh, share internet from wireless access card to Ethernet card and from the Ethernet card to switch so we have Wi-Fi is already connected and we have Ethernet so we have to go to Ethernet I will show our IP addresses now this is IP four, and you see I have IP the first one is uh, 192.168.5 and 4 for the Ethernet card now the Ethernet card by itself does not have any internet but what we know this computer has also Wi-Fi uh, wireless card that has internet so we go to this one we go properties we click share, allow, we go to Ethernet, and we click OK. Now, we get warning. It is important because the warning says that actually the, by enable sharing, we go and get different IP address on our Ethernet card. This one, because it's different. Uh, network because he did network 192.168.137.0 and here we had 192.168.5.4 that would we would lose connection with every computer like on this picture shows every computer that uses this subnet c192.168.5.0 network uh, we would use we would lose a definitely connection with every of this computer so it is like getting internet sharing on this ethernet card but we losing connection to this uh, to rest of the computers on the switch it would be something totally useless so how we fix it we minimize that we click ok we go with it for now so ok we go back to ethernet card and we already know that the IP address is changed so here we have a changed IP address 192.168.137.1 1. 
from IP192.168.5.4. So we have to do something. Yeah, we do. We go to advanced and we add the IP address that we lost by enabling uh, internet sharing. So 92 168 5 4 subnet mask and we add. So it's done. Now we go to OK. Now here we actually should add a DNS server. Google free in a DNS server. Thank you, Google. And we click OK. That would be all. Close. Now, it's a little uh, uh, problem because the Wi Fi when we shared changed and it was set up for this Ethernet uh, um, card. But during uh, when it, we opened after the Ethernet card and we changed the properties, in this case, we should go back to Wi Fi. Disable it for a moment. and enable it back to pick up the new properties that we change on the Ethernet card. Now, like you see, it's not connected, so we have to clean, click connect. And it's connected and shut. Now we go to our button where we had the Ethernet card and we check if there is internet already on it and I am an identified network connected no information there is no net no internet connection all right now let's go to different computer and we go to computer according to our picture with static IP 55 and we enable internet on this computer that will get internet from this one through switch and the same way we can do on PC2, PC3, but I will show on PC4. All right, let's go. So we are on another computer. We can see that we don't have internet. No internet access. So we click it. We go network internet setting. We go like on the other computer, change adapter options. We go here, we check IP address. And we have IP 192.165.5, subnet 255.255.255.0. Now, what is missing here? We are missing two things. Default gate. Default gateway, we have to put the computer IP address that gives us the internet. Uh, hold on, this mistake. 192.168.5.4. That was our first computer that we shared the internet uh, through wireless uh, card. Now, here, thanks to Google, we can use a public uh, free. Uh, DNS server and another one and we click OK close and now we go to our uh, bottom of the computer and we see our Ethernet card has already internet access so let's check if it has we go to nothing again. We go here. We go to Firefox. And we click and we wait. Yes, we have internet access. So, thank you very much. This presentation was done by Alien Zero. Bye.